Hello Leo, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for January. Now there's a lot of activity as always at the turn of the year. You get your solar returns based on the location of the planets at the very start of the year. And this is going to see you potentially very busy in terms of health, fitness, diet, also your work. There could be some ambition to make some changes at home. There could even be a new addition to the family at some point in the next 12 months. But your enthusiasm generally is going to be coloured by a really important total, total lunar eclipse which occurs in your zodiac sign, ironically, on the very last day of January. But what makes this so important is it's going to provide a backdrop energy for the following six months. And because this obviously is in your zodiac sign, that's about your individuality, it's about how you experience your emotions and your interactions with others, but it does forge a jarring angle to Neptune, the planet of dreams, but also of potential distortion, which is in the part of your scope around where you really dedicate yourself and where you're closely committed to others. So I think, although this year starts off in this rather practical way, with the potential for you to make some changes, fundamental changes, which can be really good for you, the backdrop for the following six months from January is about balancing your individuality with the needs of those people you're closely involved with. There could be part of you that can find this difficult at times because you want to concentrate on what's important for you. Or the reverse question could be in place. Are you being too self-sacrificing in some situations and putting other people too much first? And finding that balance is going to be a key part of how this month comes to a close. But what's going to help you in reverse order and tremendously is that on the 27th, Mars bursts into the most vibrant part of your scope where it's going to be for the following six weeks. That's really going to give you a lot of extra enthusiasm, drive, sex appeal, and also your natural charisma can really start to sparkle. But also on the 20th, the Sun moves into your opposite sign. On the 18th, Venus moves into this location. So if you do need to find some ways to harmonise better with others, or you're looking for some opportunities from a romantic viewpoint, these changes are absolutely fabulous for you. So the second half of January can become much more about your desires rather than the practicalities, which I think that solar return is so much about. It's also true to say that Mercury, the planet of communication, which went through a retrograde from the 3rd to the 23rd of December, comes out of shadow. In other words, it reaches the point where the retrograde began on the 9th of January. Something that perhaps didn't go quite to plan around a date, someone you were drawn to, a, a social situation, perhaps even your creative energies perhaps didn't flow quite as well as you want, can start to get resolved in the more uh, practical way from the 10th when Mercury moves into Capricorn. Yes, it asks you to look at the nitty-gritty details, but if you have had an idea that's important to you, you're going to need to shape it in a way which is meaningful. And Saturn moved into a part of your situation which is going to give you a real eye for the detail of things, not just this month, but for the next two and a half years. Saturn in your sixth house can also make you more conscious of wanting to work in a role which gives you a sense of that you're contri contributing something of worth, even if it's something you just enjoy doing. But if it can help others too, I think that will give you a buzz. But as this month goes on, not least when Venus combines with Pluto in week two, which suggests that some kind of offer could be made to you around a, a work or financial situation, which could be promising, but it's once Venus moves on the 18th into Aquarius that I think you're going to start to be more outward-looking and more in the mood to engage with others in the way that for, for which you're so very well known. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out 
your ascendant or your moon sign or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.